y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie, and today I did a thing. Like, I did a whole thing. I bought a lot, a lot for Black Friday. Um, and so this is actually going to be more than just like a book haul. This is a everything I bought during Black Friday weekend haul. I kind of uh, was really needing a new computer, so I have not bought a new computer, tablet, laptop, any of that kind of thing in at least three years. Um, and the one that I bought was really cheap and it was like AOL slow. I'm talking like 90s dial up slow. It took like 20 minutes for the stupid laptop just to load everything up so I could use it. And then I would print like one label and it took like 15 minutes to do that. Not even kidding. It was the slowest computer I've ever had in my life. I was so frustrated with it that I literally slapped it so hard that it quit working. So, uh, I might have a little bit of anger issues. Um, but at least I had an excuse to go out and buy me a new computer. So, I kind of went crazy. Um, first, I will say that before Black Friday, I went out and I went to Best Buy and I ended up buying a $2,500 computer. I was so frustrated with the dial-up that I'm like, okay, I'm just going to buy something top of the line and I'm going to get it and it's going to work beautifully and I'm just, I'm done. I'm done buying these cheap computers, so I'm just going to buy like this top of the line. So I bought the Microsoft Surface Book 3. It had like the i7 processor and a, a whole bunch of memory and like it was like one of the top of the line ones. Um... I got it home and I used it lightly, very lightly, just like editing some product photos, doing like printing out a couple of labels, like very little actual work on it. And in the first three weeks, it crashed on me four times, like very light use, but it was, it would keep saying something went wrong. Give me just a moment while I diagnose, diagnose or whatever. And then it was going to restart. And it did that four times in like three weeks. And I'm just like, nope, I'm not even like if I'm spending this much money on a computer, I expect there to be zero problems. So I returned it. And <laughs> during Black Friday, I went ahead because I actually really enjoyed the tablet of it. But it, I ended up I bought the 15 inch screen and that screen was just actually way too large. Whenever I started editing my my photos and I started doing some stuff with it I realized that I actually really didn't need a screen that big anyway so I returned it and during Black Friday I went and bought the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 um, I'm really happy with it so far but I decided that since I returned to a $2,500 computer and this thing only cost me like I think it was $800 is what I spent total on everything and that was with like the keyboard and I had already had the surface pin so I kept the pin so like I had everything I needed for this so I went ahead and I also bought the iPad Air 4 I don't have the pin or the computer that goes with it I'm getting the tablet next weekend and um, I'm super excited to have this I got the 256 gigabyte computer and it ended up only costing me $619 for it because uh, my work gave me a $100 gift card. Uh, I work for Amazon, so I bought it on Amazon and it ended up only costing me $619. So I got the iPad now that I'm going to be able to edit all of my videos on. I use iMovie uh, and that was really the main reason why I really wanted it. I can also edit my product photos and it'll be like a backup computer for me. So that's super awesome. And then I bought one more thing. <laughs> Y'all, I kind of, I went crazy. I went crazy. So I bought an $800 tablet I bought a $619 iPad and then because why not I bought the Kindle Oasis so this was $175 on sale for Black Friday it's normally $250 and I have had this for about about a week now um, maybe a little less and I am enjoying it so far, um, there are some things that I really like and some things that I really don't like about it. And I think I'm going to do a separate video on that 
especially because I have the Kindle Paperwhite as well. I want to be able to compare those two and kind of tell you my thoughts on them. I think that would be kind of a neat video. So I am planning on doing that very soon, but I bought it and I have been reading on it and I'm enjoying it. And how pretty is this sparkly case? Anyway, so that is all the technology that I bought. <laughs> Let's get into the books. So the, if you didn't know, the Bookworm box was having a major, major sale. It does this once a year during Black Friday weekend everything was 50% off. They have a ton of signed paperback books and um, their entire store was like half off. So it was $7.50 a book plus shipping. Uh, so I kind of went crazy and I think I bought like 19 books. So I need to go ahead and get started and get into these because this is going to be a long video. Um, let me go ahead and first start with my monthly bookworm box book. And that is The Not Outcast by Tijan. Uh, this is, of course, signed by the author. It comes with a little note from the author as well. And um, so, yeah, this was my monthly book one box. And then I went to several stores. You will have seen this video by now uh, where I went to some thrift stores. I went to Half Price Books and I got three books. This is by Tabitha Vargo and Melissa Andrea. And this book is signed. It comes with a bookmark. And I do believe yeah, this is signed by Tabitha Vargo anyway. I also got On the Plus Side by Tabitha Vargo. And this one came signed as well. And I got Say I'm Yours, which is book three by Corinne Michaels. And this book also happened to be signed. So I got all of those at Half Price Books. If you did not watch my shopping video below, I will go ahead and try to link that so you can watch it. I had a lot of fun. Okay, so I have this huge box from the Bookworm box. And I have not opened it. I just, just recently opened up this little flap just to get it ready. That's it. Um, I purchased them, but it has been like two weeks since I have purchased it. So I don't even know what all I ordered, but I cannot wait to jump in here and show you all the signed books that I got. Like I said, I spent $7 and 50 cents a piece on these. And for indie authors that are signed, like that is a really, really good price. I'm super happy about it. They gave me a whole bunch of swag that comes with these things. They always give me like stuff because of the amount that I buy. So this says read and love and give. It's a little pin. And they gave me a little chapstick. And a little nail file. Little mouse pad. And oh, this is cute. They gave me like a little bookmark jewelry bookmark thing that's cute and they gave me a little extra Meredith Wild coloring book uh, I actually have one of these so this is kind of but this is really cute it's got some neat little quotes and different things to color on that's really neat all right, let's go ahead and get into the book, shall we? Every single book is packaged in a little paper bag. So I've got a lot to go through. The first book is The Life That Mattered by Jewel E. Ann. This is a title, I believe, that is, um, or this is a cover that is directly for the Bookworm Box Limited Edition. Yeah, so this is a cover you can only get on the Bookworm Box, and it is signed by the author. The next book I got is by Winter Renshaw, and it's called War and Love. This one sounds really interesting. It says, my lie is impeccable. My heart, cold as ice. 
My only job to convince her what we had was as real as the diamond I was hired to place on her finger. The battle was someone else's. I was merely a soldier, recruited by a wealthy stranger who made it unapologetically clear that my future and everything I've ever worked for depended on the successful completion of this mission. I was prepared for war. I wasn't prepared for Love Aldridge. So, that sounds cute. is by Nia Levine. I have heard a lot about this author. This one is Fierce, which is book two in the Storm MC romance. So definitely an MC romance. Uh, I've also heard really good things about, she's got a rock star romance out that I've heard good things about as well. So this is definitely an author I've heard of. It is book two, so I'm going to have to get book one now. Ooh, this is a chunky thing. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no wonder it's chunky. There's two books. <laughs> this one is Taken by Lies by Ella Miles. I've heard a lot about this author, but I have actually never read anything by her. Uh, this one says, at 16, I was taken, kidnapped by a boy I thought I could love. Then he sold me as this... It then he sold me as if I were property. For three years I endured. Beatings, torture, pain. I never broke. I was strong, determined, resilient. But then one day it happened. I broke. Setting me free, I should have run away, found a new life, and started over. Instead, I returned. Oh my goodness. That sounds so good. Okay, and then I've got Sinful Truth, also by Ella Miles. This one said, he saved me, pulled me from the depths of the ocean. Siren, her name fits, her beauty striking, her voice heavenly, but unlike the mythical version, Siren didn't lure me to my death. She saved me. And now seeing her about to be sold to the highest bidder, it's my turn to save her. So both of those sound super, super interesting. I've been wanting to read them for quite some time and that was a really good price for those books. The next book, Okay, so this book I actually bought because of the author. I have heard amazing things about this author from Mary, from, uh, I think it's just Mary now. You know who I'm talking about, right? Like Australian girl, gorgeous, does makeup, makeup and Mary, or is it just Mary now? Anyway, I love her. I'm going to tag her down below, but she is absolutely in love with Michaela Smelter, and um, this is Unraveling by her. It is, of course, signed by the author. All of these are, uh, but I haven't heard anything about this specific book, but I've heard a lot about this author, so I saw it, and I went ahead and got it. This one is also a chunky book, and this actually is a chunky book. Oh, of course it is. It is After by Anna Todd. And this is the movie edition that I do not have. And it has a signed book plate. Yes, from Anna Todd. So I'm super excited to get this. All right, the next book I got is Be the One. This is by Nina Levine. This is the Crave series, book number two. So both books that I got by Nina Levine were both book number two in a series. It's a little sad, but this is her Rockstar series. This is the one that I have heard of and have been wanting to read for a very, very, very long time. I need to get to book number one. I've got it on my Kindle. Um, I don't, I haven't seen it on Kindle like the store in a while. I don't know if she sells it on Kindle anymore, but I'm super excited to have this. I need to get book number one now, um, but I cannot wait to read the series. <laughs> on to the next book, shall we? I swear it's like Christmas in here. Okay, so this is one that I actually haven't heard of. I've heard of this author, JT Geisinger. I think she writes a lot of uh, mafia romances, if I'm not mistaken, but this is a rock star romance. It's Sweet as Sin, and uh, it says, 20-something Cat Reed is loving life as an in-demand Hollywood makeup artist. She has absolutely no interest in rock and roll, but in order to pay the mortgage, she agrees to work on the set of a rock video for the world-famous rockers known as Bad Habit. 
which brings her face to face with Nico Nix. Uh, liking his last name because it is mine. Lead singer of Bad Habit and Adonis in the Flesh. However, the fiercely independent cat isn't impressed by the hard living, womanizing rock star. But when Nico's model girlfriend shows up to the set drunk and Kat is tapped to replace her as a video sexy bride, her combustible chemistry with Nico suddenly threatens to consume the set. Nico feels it too and becomes determined to win Kat over, body and soul. Yet behind his rock god swagger, Nico hides a dark secret. Can he rock Kat's world forever or will he just break her heart? So I love me a rock star romance. It's been my thing ever since Thoughtless and yeah. So, I'm still trying to find a rock star romance as good as that series. I haven't found one yet. Everybody else has kind of been duds in comparison. But I keep looking. The next book is Here's to Yesterday by Tegan Hunter. I really like her text series. And so I went ahead and got this one. It says, here's to yesterday, her, my entire life has been perfect. For as long as I can remember, a loving family, a boyfriend who adores me, and anything I wanted, I got. But it was all a lie, a facade. My family isn't loving, my boyfriend is more interested in my body than my mind, and it turns out money can't buy happiness. I felt lost and stuck for far too long. Then everything changed when I least expected it. It wasn't supposed to happen, not with him. Him. I want to make one thing clear. I saw her first. Not that it makes anything okay, but it's true. The moment she walked into my line of sight, I knew she was something special. I could see past the mask she wore, could see right down to her soul. I recognized instantly that she needed a friend, and it just so happened that I did too. So I wormed my way in, took her out to town, forced her from her solitary existence. Together we grew brave, stepped outside the boxes we were placed in, walked a thin line between just friends and something more. I just didn't mean to fall in love with her. So this sounds angsty and good, but very angsty. I, uh, I know I'm not reading the backs of every one of these, but I've got a lot to go through and I don't want this video to be like 45 minutes long. The next book I bought is Ruth Clampett, Unforgiven. So this is a Melmo romance. I have read this one. I really enjoyed it. It is um, not realistic at all. It's also um, has some moments that are questionable and moments that I really didn't like, but moments that I really, really loved. So I gave it like three stars, but I really still enjoyed it and want to reread it. So that's why I got it. Also, this book just feels bigger to me. Is it bigger than like the average? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Um, anyway, okay, so I got that one. Next book is Chunky. Chunky, Chunky. My goodness. Victoria Ashley, This Regret. I love this author. I just read Royal Savage by her. So good. You need to read it. All right, and this is a very long blurb, so I'm not going to read it, but this looks really, really good. I love this cover. This is a thick, chunky book. And the next book is not as thick at all. It's a little on the skinny side. Ah, Vice by Callie Hart. I love Callie Hart. I have not read this book. In fact, it's one of the very few that I have not read, and it is connected to her uh, Blood and Roses, I think is the name of it, series, and it's signed by the author. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I want to collect all of Kelly Hart's books. I love her series so much. So good. Next book. Filthy Vows by Alessandra Tori. I've heard a ton of good things about this. It's actually quite small. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger than that. Huh. All right. So this one says, there are some things your husband should never know. Was that true? Five years into our marriage and I was still discovering how everything worked. Things like balancing income with debt. Things like managing a dog the size of a small horse. Things like my secret sexual fantasies. There are some things your husband should never know. I was a loyal wife, but an imaginative one. 
Did he need to know about the fantasies that kept me awake at night? In my mind, I'd screwed and sucked off every one of his friends. I'd been pushed to my knees in the grass of our yard and taken by our landscaper. I'd visited the doctor and imagined an entirely different sort of exam. My marriage was turbulent and I was needy, my fantasies spilling out of my mind and threatening to actually lift up my skirt. We were a disaster waiting for a hurricane and I tipped the domino at doing the one thing a good wife should never do. I told him my fantasies and my husband, he gave them all to me. Oh, okay. So this very, very quickly went to the top of my TBR. <laughs> I need to read this now. We're not there, but we're getting there. Oh, okay. So I read this book. It is one of my top favorites of the year. It is one that I have recommended so many times. Behind the Bars by Brittany C. Cherry. I love, 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 love this book. I love this cover. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. Whew. Who, who is this guy? If anybody knows who this guy is, please let me know. I need to go stalk him. Whew. Okay. So yeah, this is by, signed by Brittany. It is one of my favorite books of all time. I swear this book is heartbreaking. Oh, I cried my eyes out so bad during this. So good. All right. And, oh, here's an extra book they threw in. How neat is that? Okay, Flan Company 2, Royals Heights by Vanessa Ross. I think this is the second book in the series, though. Anyway, they just randomly threw this one in, which was nice of them. I don't think it's signed, either. No, it's not signed or anything, and it's the second book in the series, so... I don't really know what to do with it, but... That's nice of them for adding it in there. Okay, we are down to the last two books. And they were in a thing together, which means they are from the same author. Yep, okay. So I've got Remember by Dylan Allen. I've got the first book in the series. What is it, Release, I think? Um, I've already got that one signed by the author, and so now I've got both books signed and the last is rise by dylan allen and both of these just look really good both signed by the author what did you think of this book haul holy crap i bought a lot uh i got a lot this time not just uh books but a lot of technology that i'm super super excited to use hopefully it will help me with being able to make some more videos and do some more editing and stuff um it's been really frustrating trying to edit a video and it like not downloading for me. So uh, I really, really am super excited. I cannot wait to get my iPad in next week. Um, anyway, that is it for me. Let me know what you thought of this book haul in the comments below. We will talk there.